is a pedophile. Hmm. A white guy named Douglas Collette. Oh, they got, they got quiet. They got quiet. So I want you to understand, since I've been um, recording the noise campaign, what they're doing now, again, actively monitoring my phone so that whenever I pick up my phone to do a recording, they will stop using the sirens. So I'm watching a video. It's called um, Zilli Danto, the Celine, the CIA and the Biden program. Okay. And they're talking about the Haitian Revolution. And what many people don't understand is the Haitian Revolution because of these ex-enslaved people who took to the hand their own destiny and they who put their own destiny in their hand, all right, and fought against the French, Napoleon, who Europeans will still today will tell you is the greatest general in modern times, right? But how could he be the greatest general in modern times if he was defeated by an even greater general and his second in command? Right? So how is it that they keep perpetuating the lie, but yet they leave to Saint Lavater under the history book? They leave uh, Dessaline out of the history books. Right? How is it that they don't tell you? Was is because of the Haitian Revolution? Okay. Is the reason why. America went to war against England. The very same white people in America who enslaved black people. Right? Use the Haitian Revolution as a catalyst to go to war against the British Empire. Right? Also, what I just learned from watching this, uh, she's writing a book on um, Jacques Dessalines, is that not only, well, we know also that the Haitian uh, helped the Dominican, what was called Santo Domingo, right? Freed, helped to free them from the Spanish, or the Spaniards, right? From Spain. But also in South America, you have countries, Colombia, other countries that the Haitians help freed from the repressive uh, repressive European powers. But they don't teach us this. They don't teach you that. I mean, why would they? Right? Why would they? It dispelled the myth of black inferiority. Right? But they don't they don't want they, don't, they will never teach you that. They will never teach us. They will never teach white people this. They will never teach black people this. Right? Cuz like I said, uh, not I said, but, you know, it was um, Dr. Ray Higgins. And he says, you know, when these people have to tell so much lies, and their very existence depends on upholding the lies, right? They're going to do whatever they can, okay, to keep those who know the truth from teaching it to others, right? And to also do everything in their power to protect the lies. Right, so we cannot forget that. We cannot forget that. So I'm watching this, and there's certain things that, and this is how they, they, this is how the AI is. Um, you know, when I watch certain videos, they will use the, the sirens, right, when certain things are about to be said. Right, not after, but just before certain words are about to be said. They started using the sirens. And as soon as I pick up my phone to start recording, they stopped recording. So words like sue, right? Words like revolution, right? They'll start using, they'll use the sirens. Immediately, uh, right before, right before, just like a split second or two before, they'll start using the sirens, okay? And so like I said, I know what I, where I'm talking. Where I'm talking. It. Regardless of what they tell these perps out there, these zombies out there, what it is, they have no clue of what's really going on. And like I said, you know, I've said this for years. They've been telling me that they're going to put my people, black people, back into slavery. Okay, and just look at how things are are, are um, transpiring today. 
Look at what they're doing with the uh, migrants to displace black people. And again, I got this information from Dr. Claude Anderson, who've been trying to tell us this for decades of what the white elites in America are doing. The whites, those within the U.S. government using uh, immigration to displace black people. Where, where by the, I think he said by the year 2035, uh, he said, if I, my memory served me correctly, that black people will be the fourth most populous people in the United States. It used to be number two. Then what the two immigration, prop, uh, immigration policies, Hispanics are now number two. We're number three. By the year 2035, Asians will be number three, will be number four. Erasing all political power. And guess what? By the year 2035, black people, uh, black families in America is projected to have zero wealth. Do you think this is coincidence? As a matter of fact, most of you don't even know. Don't even want to realize. You're literally a white, black, Asian, what have you. Right? Why? Why are they doing this? Why? Particularly against a group of people who they say never invented anything, never created anything. Right? Even though we know that's not true. Even though we can see how they're gaslighting us, how they're manipulating us. Okay? But we cannot do anything about it. At least that's what they think. Anyhow, talk to you guys in the next video.